Go with Diddy, that shit got me go up, man. <laughs> I just gotta go to the gym. Hey, Janelle, you ready? <laughs> hey, man. We start, so you gonna forget. He said, I need my back end. I need, before I need the my, I need, I need a back end before pause. <laughs> I need that shit before we start. No, Diddy. What? <laughs> nah. Janelle, what's happening? I took one of your, you know, your specials. I go that Janelle do. Yo. You, hey, you thought I should, yeah. I should go up. Oh, nah. That shit, 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 that Today is a very special day for me, man. I'm I'm very very proud to say I got the, I got the young guns with the keys to the future, man. You know, sometimes you got something called the changing of the guard, the changing of the guard, and I'm proud to say that, you know, I can hand these keys to this young man, man, and I know they're gonna they're gonna carry the future, man. So, you know, without further ado, without further ado, I let these young boys introduce introduce themselves, man, so we can get this party going. Who wanna go first? Amari, man. Man, hey, speak up, dog. Amari, the ink guru. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite tech, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tap in with me. I'm Ra. You can follow me on Instagram, radar.ink. My name is Dama. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I make music. I'm an artist all around, but I got a brand called Rainy Season. So you can follow me at Rainy Season Brand. That's what's up, man. Like I said, these young boys are doing a lot of positive t- things in the community, man. They out here doing nothing negative. They out they out here really being a um being the true entrepreneurs, man. You know, I know Mari for a long time and you know, every time I see him, I see them. I see them in the gym. You know what I'm saying? I see them like they they really, really, really like a team, a unit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the definition of true friendship, man. I appreciate that coming from like Guys, their age, man. So you know, why don't y'all tell these people how old y'all are? Because they don't really, they don't really for y'all to be at the level that y'all on. They, they don't really they tell them how old you are, man. I'm 21. Sheesh. 21. 23. Damn. <laughs> hey, look when you put never mind when you put two of them together, I'm still older than. Them. <laughs> I was about to say three, right? But nah. But damn, that's what's up, man. Damn, 21, 21, 23. How y'all feel, though, to be, like, young bosses, man? I feel like we ahead of the gun. I feel like, um, hey, do what you got to do so nobody don't do it for you. Absolutely, man. It feel good. Um, I'm not where, exactly where I want to be at, but, you know, I'm working. It's a start. Working it's a start. Day. You got to start for something. What about you, Black? Man, I feel like I was built for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. How y'all meet? Uh, so I met I met Robert in ninth grade in school. He was tatted. I'm like, what the hell? This thing you got going on. So I'm asking him. I ain't got nothing on me. I'm like, man, I'm just hurt. He like, yeah. I'm like, this nigga lying. Like, <laughs> been, though, we've been locked in. You cool, nigga. You hear me? Yeah. Uh, I met Damo through my man Cat. That's my my right hand man. Okay. And they've been locked in for a long time. So we just clicked too, because he a cool nigga, you know? Yeah. Authentic nigga, so. That's what's up, man. So how um any one of y'all can answer this, man. How how um how important is having like a friendship like y'all got, man? It's important. It's important to have friends that push you and it's important to have friends that's like on the same shit that you on. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. That's what's up. What about you? I feel like it's very important because you don't got nobody in your circle that's going to push you, then you ain't going to really be motivated. Yeah. So, yeah, you need a little group, not a big group, but people that's going to work with you. So how much do you, how, how, how much do y'all actually push each other, though? Because I see y'all in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be actually getting it in. So mm-hmm. how much in other, other areas do y'all push each other? I feel like... Every um, aspect, for real. Yeah. 
I word. feel like uh, push wouldn't be the word for me. It would be more so uh, a friendly competition. Okay. You know, so if one person do some, I know me personally, uh -huh. I take it as, man, that mean I need to do some. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like on that same level because, hey, we going up another level. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, one yeah. hour go up, we all going yeah. up, man. That's just what it is. That's what's up, man. So, um, Mark, I'm going to start with you, man. Tell the people what you do and how you got started. Um, y'all can go, y'all can go, um, after that, you go and then you go. That's okay. I'm a tattoo artist. I started on random thought, looking at somebody else's artwork. I'm like, man, hey, if he can get some clientele, I know I can get mm -hmm. some clientele. So, it was the pandemic. I bought me a little tattoo kit on Amazon. I was gigging for that jump to come. It took like three days. Mm -hmm. When it got there, I busted open immediately. No diddy. And <laughs> look, I got straight to work on the uh, fake skin. Yeah. Dukes come in the jump like, man, hey, you trying to give me a tattoo? I'm like, nah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I ain't ready yet. <laughs> she like, you good. You might, you just do it. Hey, listen, if I ain't do that tag, who knows if I'll be here today. Yeah. So just keep working. Keep criticizing yourself. How long how long you been um you say you started when before the pandemic? I started in twenty twenty. Okay. So I started like July twenty twenty. And so that's about what, almost four years. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we 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 come back to you. Go ahead, Mark. All right. Uh I'm a tattoo artist as well. Uh how I started. First, I was an electrician. I got laid off because of the pandemic. Okay. So, people already know I could draw from school, so they were telling me to tattoo over there. So, I started tattooing, and I seen the money. So, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm about to go with this. Are you the type of person I like to be? Like, Are you the type of person I like to be an entrepreneur, or you like to like work a nine-to-five? Which which nah, one is better for you? I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I don't like people telling me what to do. Yeah. None of that. Okay. What about yeah. you? How you get started? Uh, I got started my well, I got a clothing line. Like I, like I said earlier, yeah. I got started my clothing line. Well, I've been wanting to do it since I was in high school. Okay. 2017. Okay. I just never had the the right idea. I wanted to make sure whatever I did, it was going to be me. It was going to reflect I me. I got you. I got you. Know, you. Be exactly how I wanted mm -hmm. to. So I I went through a couple different names and a lot of brainstorming, a lot of thinking, and then I finally came over rainy season. It was actually it started off as a song because I make music too. Okay. It started off as a song, but the song got a lot of meaning to it. So I was just like, well, maybe before before we get out of here, man, you give us a couple of, a couple of bars or something. You you rap or you sing? A little bit of both. A little bit. So you like a Chris Brown? <laughs> <laughs> no, Chris, no Chris Brown, but like you like a Drake. Yeah. No, I'm if you had to describe, I'm no, if, yeah. I mean I get it, but look, if you had to describe anybody in the in, as an artist in the game right now, who would you? Who, 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 who was your archetype? I can't. I oh yeah, like, you just different, right? Yeah, Maybe just, you give us some bars before yeah, release, and we can see, we can see what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dropped no music in a long time. It's all right? good. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Look, we ain't gonna, we ain't no, you ain't here to judge. You ain't on trial. <laughs> good money, you know what I'm saying? So, um, as far as the merch game, you like it? Yeah, I love it. You love it? Yeah. So, um, what's the process of going like when you started? How did you start getting your merch? Where did you get it from? How do you create your whole company and all that? So originally, I started off at like local print shops. Okay. I would have he tra he transferred the designs. Uh, I had basically I had somebody. I told them what I wanted, and then they came up with a design for me. Okay. Um, I didn't really like it, so then I came up with my own design. Okay. And then. Uh, I went to a local print shop that I knew. I knew the person who owned it, mm -hmm. and they was doing it for me. Um, I tried a couple different print shops. It ain't really work out. Okay. So I kind of fell back from it, and then I had to find a manufacturer. So I just basically had to do a lot of research, try different manufacturers. Mm -hmm. I lost a lot of money doing that, but it's all part of the game. That's part. Of, hey, look, I was about. Hey, look for 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 your age for, for you to say that. I, I kind of I like that. 
Because a lot of people don't know how to deal with the loss. So for, yeah. for you to say that, because when I started, man, I lost so much money investing in myself. And some people will quit because the more money you lose, the more, um, what you call it, the less the less that you want you actually do what you do because, it, mm -hmm. it, it, you know what I'm saying, it don't, you don't get that confidence, there's no confidence no more. Yeah. You lose a lot of confidence because you're not really seeing no, no paper. You know what I'm saying? So for you to say that, that, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the game. That for your age, man, I, I really like that. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. You got to know that. You yeah. got to know that in order to win, you're going to take some losses. Absolutely. No matter what you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and with that, it, 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 uh, it gives a lot of people that the, they give up. Once One loss, you give up. One loss, you give up. Not knowing that, you know what I'm saying, you one knock away from the door being open, you know. So I like that, man. So, For sure. Which, with tattoos, right? Uh -huh. Do you have to really know how to draw, or do you have to know? Do you have to be a, a person that knows how to draw? You gotta know some, like a little bit. You don't really gotta know too much because yeah. drawing and tattooing is it's different than me. Okay. Like just because you know how to draw on paper, don't mean you know how to draw on skin. Okay, you gotta know different tones, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's different. But you gotta know some. You gotta have some type of artistic skill. Okay, watch you, Mark. I agree with what he said. Um, I don't think you need to. Honestly, I think you just gotta have some type of artistic skill, and you can. Hey, I can tattoo better than I can draw. That's all I'm gonna say. For real? Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, with, with tattoos and Bob, I say I, I can say it go hand in hand. Cause we do, you know, so I do designs mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I never knew how to draw. Right. But I'm I actually just, a barber. Oh, you? Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, you cut hair and you? Oh man. So hey, look, <laughs> you got more. Hey, look, you got more than one. You know what I'm saying? One yeah. skill. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So, so you you can understand what I what I'm saying yeah. as far as like tattooing, because tattooing I'm, made me go to like the barber industry. Okay. From designs and all that. Yeah. So. Shade and so, lining. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so the, the designs, like you know what I'm saying. So, what's the difference between like? freestyling and actually tracing do there were people like can you actually look at a picture and and put the tattoo on a person or you most of the time it's traced and you just put it on the skin and just and just and just, and just tattoo tattoo it on, on on their body me personally i feel like tracing and freestyling is two different things yeah. because when you doing freehand work, I feel like it's more so guidance and you will build up to what you want. When mm -hmm. you got a stencil though, I feel like the, the image is already there and okay. you just gotta, you gotta kind of just finish it. Like you gotta make it look as best as you can be. But people do think that, oh, you just tracing the line so it's easy. Mm -hmm. It sounds easy, but once you really get into like learning the body and mm -hmm. how stuff heal up and things like that, it, it becomes more of a science than anything. So okay. I will say that a stencil is my go-to though. I'd rather not freehand. I freehand if I have to, but, and it take more time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, let me let me talk to the merch man. <laughs> what are some of your struggles do, dealing with merch? Tell me some of your some of some of the headaches that you deal with when it comes to merch. Rainy season. <laughs> man, a headache. That's a good question. I got so many I can't even think. Man, of tell me one, one, man. And one that I that I go through a lot is like dealing with because like I got a manufacturer over in Pakistan. Okay. So like dealing with them sometimes can be a headache. For real. Yeah. Wow. How yeah. do you um? How do you overcome headaches? How how do you like? How do you deal with like? I know sometimes certain certain stress can be insurmountable, right? It, yeah. it packs on you. How do you deal with stuff like that when you got a lot of shit coming coming towards you? And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? How do you deal with stuff like that? Um. Well, with the manufacturer, like. Like I said, I had to go through a lot of manufacturers even to get to the one that I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, when you're dealing with them, sometimes you got to take what you can get for at the moment. Yeah. Um, you know, just use what you got until you find something else. 
Got you. So sometimes you just got to deal with it. Especially like when you kind of build a relationship with someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you did a little manufacturer, that's what I'm speaking of. Okay. What about, what about the good things? Tell me some good things about, about the merch game. Good things. Um, I just like seeing people. I like seeing people in my clothes. Yeah. I like people be feeling good, like when they wear the clothes, mm-hmm. like, you know, the clothes, they feel like they fly. Yeah. You no, know, I feel like they are too. So, you know, I just like seeing people happy. Yeah, a lot of people that ask you. Yeah, that's like, your clothes. Yeah, this, this what he got on right now. The pants. I got a new drop coming called the Mind That Wool Collection. Oh, Every wow. time we go out, we wear that. Yeah, at least five people. Ask. Where that come from? That's you. Mm. You, you make clothes. Like I, I lied to you. Now I never had so many people ask me, "Where you get your clothes from?" Until I put that on. Oh wow, that yeah. that feels good. Though. Yeah, and yeah. the gym they stopping sure. you. What's that? What's that? How you get that from? Yeah. So do you like um that. come up with all the the um the graphic designs for your clothes, or you got some people that set, that helps you out? Yeah, uh, for the most part, I come up with it, or I come up with the idea at least. Okay. But I do have a graphic. I did have. I had a graphic designer that I was working with, and you know, they came up with a couple designs for me. But like, I just tell them what I want, or I sketch what I mm-hmm. want, and just had them to make it digital. Okay, how lucrative is the is the business? Is 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 it good money in there? Yeah, I say so. Yeah. Um, you just gotta do everything's about marketing. Okay. Especially in this, I feel like any business, like if you market it right, mm-hmm. you good. Yeah. I feel I, like having a good product is a plus. Absolutely. And nowadays, that's yeah. that goes hand in hand with like making music, all that. As long as you market it good. Yeah. You gonna be all right. Cause I see you. I see your stuff on Instagram. I went through your Instagram, and you got a lot of you got a lot. Your audience is you got a lot of you got a lot of followers, right? You got a lot of followers, and I like the way you put your uh, what you call it, the um, your post and your Hopefully, stuff together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah, way you sure. got it, it, it attracts a lot of people to your page. So yeah. you have somebody that's helping you with that, or you do that by yourself? No, I do it by myself. For real? Yeah. Damn. That's dope. That's dope. So, how important do you think, like on on the, on the marketing side? How important? You, what percentage goes into marketing? And I'm gonna ask all three of y'all that. I'm, I'm fifty. At fifty. Yeah. At least fifty. Yeah. You got marketing. It's like if you got great products, you got great videos, great content, and mm-hmm. you don't market it, or you don't know nobody, or mm-hmm. you don't have a network. Like mm-hmm. it's not gonna do nothing unless you was one yeah. of the people that get super lucky. That like. <laughs> Blow up off yeah. a post. So how often you think a person, a business person, should post on Instagram? I ask people that all the time. Everybody give me different, um, different uh, answers and stuff like that. But this this guy right here, man, like he sent me so much. He sent me hashtags. He sent me music. Like, Rich, you need to do this because I mean, I, I'm trying to learn the social media space because yeah. I'm trying to really push this podcast out. So it's kind of I'm new. Yeah. You know what I'm I just know how to push the barber stuff out, but this podcast space is a little different. So he said, Rich, you can't approach, you can't use the same approach with the barber game as you do with the podcast because mm-hmm. it's, it's a different audience. So you yeah. got to do like, so he sent me stuff, and you know what I'm saying? So most of the time, a lot of things that I post, I go off for his input. Mm-hmm. Like, what you think of this? You're like, man, yeah, that's cool. I'm saying it's going to get this, going to get this, posted at this time and all of that. So sure. that's why I say I asked you how, how um, what's the percentage of, uh, or work when it comes to, into um, into advertising or even marketing. Yeah. What I mean, about y'all? When well you well, when you said how often should you post? Yeah, yeah. That, I feel that like part. you should post every day if you could. Every day. I feel like that. You do you do the stories. You do the stories uh, at, at least on your story yeah. every day. Okay. If it's not on your page, at least on the story. Okay. Like you got to post something on the story because you're gonna get some viewers. Like mm-hmm. that could be a sale. If you don't post, like, you're not going to get the sale that you could get. Exactly. I can vouch for that, bro. Yeah. Because I stopped posting. When you're so busy, you can't really post. So once you stop posting for real, your audience start going down. Like, and people don't really come. Yeah. Like, your, it be seem like your, your, your page shadow banned or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the hell? What's, what's shadow ban? I'm old. It's like, you ain't. Man. <laughs> that's a big one shadow yeah. band man I mean, you posting your stuff man they just it's just not getting nowhere like you getting like two views like, they not yeah. pushing it though they not pushing it though it's them oh. you know how Instagram or TikTok yeah. they push your stuff out to certain yeah. people 
Yeah. The algorithm, like. But the su- what they call the suggested, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they suggest your stuff to people that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why they say shadow like banging. They ain't showing uh, it to the right. Audience. So that, that shadow ban, that shit is real. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I like on Instagram, like if you post crazy stuff, or mm-hmm. sometimes it don't even gotta be crazy. Sometimes Instagram be tripping. They shadow man. People can't even search your name up. They're so, like, oh wow, and it's crazy because I had just had to text him and my other man. I told him stop using everybody. Stop using hashtag FYP, please. They For want real? to shadow ban you every time. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I be saying, Stop I be saying viral videos on my listen. On my for you you seeing viral, you seeing probably people that already got the followers or something using FYP. But I'm gonna tell you why FYP is used so much. And like, y'all remember that time it was just a bunch of bots on Instagram mm-hmm. and they was just spamming that. So that's how they was like trying to figure out who was bots. People keep using, keep spamming hashtags, keep spamming FYP. I don't use nothing, I just use. Whatever I got, whatever I just posted, take about three, four hashtags and I put them on there. No FYP though. Ever right, since I stopped using FYP, I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I got shadow banned. I stopped using FYP and it like came back a little bit. Like so, when you get shadow banned, how long does it take you to um? Man. For real, I feel like I'm still shadow. Yeah, I am too. Still, I feel like I'm still shadow banned. Yeah, it was it was once upon a time I was refreshing my Instagram. That jump was like a hundred likes, a new hundred likes, a new hundred likes, and then just stopped one day. Wow! Yeah, so I this, got like this, four likes on the post. I was like, "What? Be jumping. Crazy!" I ain't gonna lie. Once I, I, cause I was on shade room. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, so oh, you made it to shade room? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! With your tattoos? Yeah. And okay. my Instagram was jumping, but now that change. <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta get. You might have to create another major. Instagram. Nah. <laughs> they don't be trying to give you your shine, man. I I be hearing a lot about when they see black creators, they be trying to take them down. Though. Mm-hmm. So, so what's the um? Tell me some stories, man. What what's some of the stories? Some crazy stories y'all got as far as the. <laughs> I know y'all laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I say my drink first. Yeah, yeah. Tell me some stories, man. My first day stories part way crazy. My first time, (laughs) my first time, not my first time tattooing, but in the beginning of my journey, uh, I did this girl butt tat. Like it was like her whole side, and she was like she she was tripping. She was all like endless drugs or whatever. So I'm looking at her. She talking to herself. I'm like, I know I'm not tripping. I'm thinking she on the phone. The whole time she talking to herself, like nobody right there. She just talking to herself. So she get up, she pass out. I catch her. Damn. And then I call my mother downstairs. And I'm like, you got to monitor her because I ain't trying to tell her because she just fake passed out. And then my mom asking her like, "Uh, you want him to finish? So she like, yeah, I'm good. So, she, uh, you know how, like, a girl, she got cramps, and she, like, on her, her knees and her stomach, mm-hmm. like, she holding her stomach, and she do this, like, real life do this, and Damn. I'm like, Damn. I'm like, what? <laughs> Damn. And I'm doing her butt test, so it's like, I see all that, and I'm like, I just, I, I ran upstairs, I'm like, <laughs> Cause I'm tired in my mother's house. So I run upstairs. I text my mom like, "Man, I pay you. I pay you to clean all that up." Like, oh no! I got to pay like a hundred dollars to clean all of it up. Oh my god! Oh uh, lord! That was probably my worst. Yeah. I don't think she would had to pay a cleanup fee. <laughs> but she, she was young. Like she every time I tell this show. story, people are like I would have kicked her out. But wow, that's she crazy. Was, she was young, so I couldn't do it like that. So what happened? So you finished it after she did Nah, it? so she probably still walking around with an unfinished tattoo. Are you, so you didn't finish the tattoo? I asked her, did she want me to finish it? But she was like, nah, I'm embarrassed. Nah, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> had to go. Oh my God. So do so people do come to y'all and do a half a tattoo and don't come back? Yeah. For real? Yeah. It hurt. Unless they lying. It hurt. My story ain't that bad though. I think just like some cool stuff, like my probably my first year tattooing, I had gotten a shop. 
And this girl came in. She like, she trying to get a name tattooed. I'm like, all right. She like, it's her ex name. I'm like, her ex? Why you getting your ex name tattooed? She like, he got mad on on her. So I'm like, Bird. this is what you gonna do? She like, yeah, I'm I'm sure. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I did it though. So you t- she tied at her ex. Yeah. Boyfriend's name on her uh-huh. because he had her name on him. Mm-hmm. He was broken up for a minute too. Damn, I guess he probably was trying to get back with her. I don't know what they had. Going <laughs> <on>. <laughs> like, hey, y'all some rock stars, man. When it comes to this tattoo game, man, and even with the merch, I know y'all got. I, mean, I ain't gonna say groupies, but I know y'all got a lot of fans that be sliding y'all DM because of <laughs> because of what y'all do, right, man. <laughs> They be crazy in the <laughs> Free tech. Uh, I'm, free, it up I'm pretty good. I don't want to spend that money, man. But me, I want the money. You want so. the money? You want, you want to mix business with pleasure? Nah. That's good. That's good. What about you? I know you a rock star, too. <laughs> do you... um? Do you sell your merch in just just this area, or you go you go out, out, you go you uh, do you do it in other states? So I I said I started in twenty twenty right, but yeah. I ain't really I never took it serious. So okay. I just started back in January dropping clothes and stuff. Okay, so I'm really you know taking it serious now. I quit my job. And, oh, for real? Yeah, so you all in? Yeah, do it for time. That, that's what's up. So right now. I'd be having orders, online orders in other states and stuff. Okay. But I haven't been, like, I haven't traveled yet with my clothes to go sell it nowhere. But I do plan on doing that at some point. Okay. Let's talk about friends outside of you guys, right? You know, I got some friends that come in my, come trying to get a haircut. And just because we friends, they think that they even get a discount or they want a free haircut sometimes. Sometimes they be like, I'll pay you later because we friends, right? Do y'all get them type of issues because of what you guys do? Do people call y'all for, for, for freebies because they feel like they're entitled to because they knew y'all before y'all became who you were, you guys were? Yeah, I, I would say it's more so family than yeah. friends. Only. Family? Both. Yeah. Nah, I'll say, say friends, family, they, they don't be trying to get no discount. My how friend. do y'all deal with stuff? How do y'all deal with that? Do y'all, do y'all Have y'all got to the point where y'all don't know how to say no? <laughs> Me personally, I don't know. I just, I, I'm work with you. You my people. That's just how I think, <laughs> though. If you, if we, I don't know. That's just how I think. If we people, I feel like I'm gonna work with you. If you somebody that's willing to buy my stuff, like you come and shop with me, you be like, yeah, hey, bro. Like, I only got this right now, but I'm really trying with this. So you know what I'm saying? You per, you purchased something from me in the past, mm-hmm. like. I might be, you know what I'm saying, cool with that. But if you somebody like, oh, yeah, like, why, where my hoodie at? I don't, why don't get nothing mm-hmm. for free? No. You ain't do nothing to invest in me. You yeah. don't even post my post shit. My like, stuff. That's exactly. free. You that's even the post point. me. That's the point I'm trying to make. You about to get something for free? Yeah. Trevor, that's like me telling you go to work and don't let them pay you. Free. Absolutely. And I'm going to put you out on game real quick, right? The people that's going to bring you down are your friends and your family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I consider a friend as somebody that invests in you and in return you invest in them back. But if you got somebody that's not bringing no value, you have to be you have to be absolute in your in your voice and be able to tell them no. And then once you tell them no, you know who a true friend is. If a friend cannot pay you the full amount to support you, then it's your friend. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? If a stranger can pay you the full amount, a friend should be able to do the same thing. Unless I'm giving you, I'm like, I'm extending my hand and be like, you know what? Here's a t shirt, you my man. Or here's the free tattoo, you my man. Mm-hmm. But if you come to me to purchase something, you should give me more than what, 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 whatever I'm, I'm selling it for because you are, you are respecting exactly what I do because you know where I came from. And then when I get to where I'm going, I want to extend my hand and give you some, some stuff for free. Give me the luxury to do that. So y'all got to learn how to say no to people, especially the people that's around you, because they'd be the ones that will actually bring you down. And once you tell them no, you actually know who y'all friends are. So right. Y'all got to learn. Y'all got to really learn how to say that that no word is, is is really really important when it comes to business, especially like, when it comes to your friends. I feel like it go both ways. Um, even with saying no, because you could say no. And you can be burning a bridge. I feel like even with 
my generation more so it's easy to burn your bridges and not saying like i'm scared to burn a bridge mm -hmm. or just i just feel like you gotta be more fragile with what you say to people what you do to people because people do got past traumas and stuff that you know what i'm saying like somebody might feel like if you can't help me out right now then you ain't never gonna be able to help me out you know what i'm saying so i just feel like if i can i, I am but if you don't, and it's another thing that like everybody don't live forever. This yeah. person might ask me for some off a tattoo because that's all they got, but they want a tattoo and they might die tomorrow and I'm going to feel bad. So it'll just be like, I don't know. Right, if I'd you look at it, I'd rather take it than that. No, no, daddy. Nah, it, if you look at it from that standpoint, that you, you're going to get taken advantage of because once people see that you are allowing that, they're always going to try to to use that stance against you. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be staff. Like when it comes to business, there's certain things that you have to learn to be able to thrive in a, in a game because if you continue to have that mindset, you will you will stay in a broke, you will be broke. I still I still feel like it's boundaries though to it. me for me personally. I feel like so if you came to come get a tattoo, you say I want a leg sleeve, mm -hmm. and I told the person Three hundred something for a leg sleeve. I'm not gonna charge you three hundred dollars for a right. leg sleeve, even though when I come get my tattoo, I pay a regular. I mean, even when I come get my haircut, I pay a regular mm -hmm. haircut price. Not because of, it's because of. I feel like it's more sort of the scale of the things. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a tattoo for me ain't. I gotta try to take all your money. It's just you know I can get some work. You want some work done? I can put something on my page. I made a little money today. Mm -hmm. Our friendship still good. You get what I'm saying? But I can look at it from this standpoint too, Mari. That if I come to you for a tattoo, I'm not gonna ask you to give me a discount because I respect what you do. You but understand what already, I'm saying? He gonna already so I'm already, I'm already going to extend my hand and give you the full price because I respect you enough to know that when you come sit in my chair, you don't shortchange me. But that's my but that's my fair price for you though. That's what but I'm saying. What if, what if I look at you like, nah, I'm not taking that because this is business. Then I'm gonna respect what you saying. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta look at it from that because you got some people that will look at that from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And every time they come to you, they want a discount because mm -hmm. they're family. So he you feel what I'm saying? He gonna already give you that discount though. Yeah, because it's it's days you when ain't gonna know his price. It's days when I'm it's days when I'm chilling and I ain't making no money. So I, I don't know. Me personally, I'ma just I I would I, I would give it be, just because I know like the tattoo business is Yeah. But that's that's like when you start like when I I get what you I get your point right. Mm -hmm. Let me expound on that real quick. When I first started cutting hair, right? Mm -hmm. I caught started cutting hair in two, 2010, right? So I didn't have that much clientele. So it's certain things that I did to gain clientele. Which is right. like discounts, and, that, and you know what I'm saying. And so I'm still in my stepping stones I, too. I, I, I get what you're saying, but when mm. you get to a certain, uh, when you get to a certain level, some of that stuff you got to go. Right. So with that, you create a website, right? You create a website where a person don't call you no more for your prices. Because whenever somebody called me over the phone, like how much you charge for a haircut, I direct them straight to my website. Mm -hmm. I don't do over the phone nothing. So you go, you go to my website, and the prices are there. If you don't like, it, you go somewhere else. And I don't care if you my mama, if you my, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I will cut my mama for, for a fee. But if I direct you to my website, you paying. And the people that I, sometimes I try people, especially my friends. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when can I come, when can I come in? Even my kids, I do that too. Nah, go to the website and book like everybody else. Because I, you have to respect my business. And that's the only way, this is how I feed my kids. This is my future. This is how, this is what I'm in fully invested in and if you don't respect that we don't need to be friends so when you when you start operating for that mindset that's how you become successful everybody like you said um mari was saying that burning bridges. sometimes some bridges need to be burnt mm -hmm. everybody cannot go with you but sometimes you got to take a little bit of pain pause for you to realize that this is some some of the things that i need to do you got some people that will come to you like let me hold some let me hold a couple of outfits i got you next week you you a good person because you know him, right? And then you give it to him, you don't hear from him for a month. That's a lesson learned, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. So that the older you get and the more successful you get, you're gonna face all of these stuff in, in, in your business to make you learn. But if you don't learn, man, you're gonna stay where you at. 
You know what I'm saying? You're going to stay where you are. So, like, I understand where you're coming from, Mari, but you have to be like, you got to get to a point where it's not about the money no more. You understand what I'm saying? It got to be about my business. And you, 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 you tell yourself that it doesn't matter if I make a dollar today or tomorrow. I'm always working on myself and I'm always working on my business. So I will not fail. So sometimes you're going to be not be busy, but I'm not going to compromise what I'm doing to satisfy somebody that I'm respecting. So y'all gotta, y'all gotta actually learn. But it, it's a learn, it's a learning lesson. Cert, like, and the, the, the thing is, the family and friends are gonna be the the ones that's gonna do it to you, mm -hmm. because they feel like they are entitled to get something less for less than what what you servicing. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying. So th th that that's my thoughts on that, man. So yeah, I agree with that for sure. Like, yeah, I think people would DM me and be like. Yeah, I want to order some. I'd be like, all right, just do it through the website. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I drop it off to you, but I need need you to do it through the website. Exactly. That's where I keep all my stuff. I want to keep everything in one place. Or somebody DM me and on my page, I'd be like, okay, DM my business page. Mm -hmm. So everything in one space. People be like, I'm not using no website. <laughs> like, then you ain't getting no you ain't getting no merchandise. <laughs> Sometimes you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't go back and forth with a person when it comes to your business. Everything has to be laid out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's no back and forth. You want my business, you got to, you got to operate under my rules. Or there's no rules because the thing is, you got to always find a way to let the bad apples out so the good ones can come in. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to charge, you got to charge what you think is, 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 is fair without really without really recognizing what anybody else think or respect what anybody else think. Look, my merch is 120 for the shirt. You don't want it, that's cool. Somebody oh, else going to okay. want it. You feel what I'm saying? Because somebody will see your merch that they, and, and they know you. So they'd be like, uh, man, that ain't worth 120 because I knew you from before you started. Mm -hmm. But somebody that don't, F, that don't know you will see your merch like, man, I like the way that merch is. That's worth 120. No, and then not. the thing is, you don't get that for sixty dollars to somebody that don't even respect your work. Mm -hmm. And a but, lot of people get discouraged because the people that they know don't be supporting them. But exactly, there's eight billion people in the world. No. Hey, that's how you got to think, because it's gonna be people. times where when you say no, you gonna you gonna have your dry seasons when you say no. But you have to really believe in yourself to know that whatever product that I'm putting out is quality. Where I know in due time, if I keep working on myself, I'm gonna build that clientele. That's how I build mine. I, I, I never have slow days, but I have to, it got to a point where I wasn't afraid to tell somebody, no, even if I'm losing money, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that's like, 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 like my man said, losses is a part of the game. You have to be able to deal with losses. You have to be able to be comfortable losing. If you're not, you're going to stay, you're going to stay stagnant for the rest of your life doing the same thing over and over. And one thing I know about business that I know people will try their best to run over you. Right. Especially people our color. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I love y'all and I, yeah, I, I like where y'all are going. And, you know what I'm saying? The last thing I want is people to take advantage of you guys. So, whatever, like, he tell you, man, when he sit in my chair, man, we talk. I know Mitch, you and Mitch, we talk with you and Mitch, you are at the same age. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, that's why I, I like you guys and I invite you guys to, on, on the platform so other, other people, y'all age, y'all peers can actually realize some of the things that you're doing, some of the things that they can implement in their, whatever they're doing and some of the things they can be like, you know, I need to work on this like they're working on, on this. You know, because we all, we all, we all, we all not perfect. We all working on, on ourselves. So, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. That's part of business. You know what I'm saying? But like I tell everybody, man, just focus on what you're doing. Focus on your losses. Focus on focus on um your losses and some of the things that you're not good at. You know what I'm saying? And work on that. And the, the losses, when it comes, let it come. Because the more you lose, all you need is I tell people all you need is one, one shot. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? When I got my shot, man, my, my clientele blew up. But I, I didn't quit, you know what I'm saying? Because it was times when I was sitting here, like when I started, I was sitting in the barbershop and I get one client. One, when I started. One client. And you know, I see people come and go. People come and go, you know what I'm saying? And next thing I know, I just kept passing my flyers out. You know what I'm saying? Instagram came along, I kept posting, posting, posting. I do paid promotions and all of that. And next thing I know, my shit just, boom, one of my videos went viral and that's all it took. 
That's mm-hmm. something I need to work on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just be patient, bro. Yeah, be you no know, patience is because yeah, young. So certain things you be like, now nah, I won't do it. I'm I'm kind of discouraged when it comes to it because it's not working the way I want it to be. But the thing is, like, you never know. As soon as you leave, that was probably the time, the opportunity for your breakthrough. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah, I gotta keep. Yeah, I gotta keep pushing, man. Yeah, I gotta keep sure. pushing. I feel like it take three times. It take three times, three losses more for you to actually. <laughs> Sometimes it's more than that. More than three. I yeah. feel like. That I don't one know, time like is that third it. time the time. I feel like that's true because I don't know. I feel like you should after your first couple losses. Now this is not everybody's situation, but like you should know what to do. Mm-hmm. But you, that's not like like I said, not for everybody. Yeah, like, everybody yeah. not. It might some take people, you more. Yeah, some but people I feel like that third time really is like yeah. a good time. So if anybody's watching out, out right now and listening to this, man, what would you like to tell them? As words of encouragement to keep doing what they're doing, even if it's if 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 it's hard. No Diddy, I can't see all these young kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gotta keep saying no Diddy. Just gotta Paul. keep pushing for real. That's all you gotta do. Keep yeah. pushing. Don't quit. Stay focused. Consistency. Uh, that's it for real. Well, it's more than that. I could go. It's a long list for real. But you just gotta keep working. Be real with yourself, man. Stop looking at yourself through a false lens. Facts. Be around people that tell you about yourself. Be around people that's doing positive things. Don't be scared to stop hanging with niggas that's not on what you on or people that's not on what you on. Because you love them. Yeah, because you love them. Now, you can love people from a distance, but just see what you want for yourself and put yourself in in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, what about you, bro? My best advice for whoever that's watching this is go to the gym. Ah, hey, talk to him. Go to the gym. <laughs> if you like, if you try to do something and you don't know like what to do or where to start, just go to the gym. If yeah. you don't work out already. Yeah. I feel like the gym changed my life. Yeah. For real. For In what real. way though? Just everything. Like the gym, it teaches you how to stay down. It teaches you yeah. discipline. Mm-hmm. How to be consistent. Discipline, for sure. For sure. And it just make you feel good. Like, it just... And look, when you start man. seeing them results. Yeah. And, and it humble you. Just, uh, feel good. It will humble you, right? It humble you. Going to the right gym. See, I never looked at... I don't give a fuck. I, just, I be looking at the man in the mirror. I don't care. It was <laughs> a girl next to me yesterday squad more than me, boy. She was <laughs> and she went... And she was really going low, squat. I say I can't do that. I had to put another plate on the jaw. I said, "Oh no, I can't." I had light nah, legs too. I couldn't even go like that. that. Hey, you gotta she, know, she she gotta recording know. and everything. She said, I ain't that platinum fitness no more. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go take. I said, "Let me unrock this." When they start laughing at me or something. You gotta yeah. know that you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. that's what you gotta always yeah. know that. So like, don't look at everybody got their own like, path. Oh, she probably been doing this for twenty years. Mm-hmm. She work out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just started. You ain't never work out a day in your life. You right. trying to look, you know what I'm saying? You, you compare. Yeah, you can't compare. Yeah, Nobody yeah, right. ever. Right. Right. That's, that's what's up. Hey, look, man, y'all, y'all making me proud, man. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a workout addict. So for, 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 for y'all to say go to the gym, Lord. You know, that mm-hmm. shit got no, no ditty. That shit got me up, gym. man. <laughs> I just started going to the gym. Hey, Janelle, you, know, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I be hey, look, out the gym. Hey, look, I'm, I want to ask y'all this, right? Since we're on the gym, Man, I can't, I, I can't, since we're on the gym topic, right? How important is health and business? Very. Very. Break health it down wealth. for me. Health is wealth. Man, break it down. Hey, look, man, y'all talking my language. Now you look, I'm up now. <laughs> Talk now. Health is wealth. Health is wealth, man. Talk to me, my high important, because I see y'all in there. Y'all be getting it in. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, I'm looking at y'all. I'm like, all right. Yeah. So y'all, hey, look, they do two push I'm trying to do 10. <laughs> you got to keep your mind young boys, You know what I'm saying? Overdo me when it comes to nothing. Nah, I was dead serious when I said go to the gym. I know you were. I know you was, man. What I about like... you, Mark? You, what was you at before you came to Golds? I was in the Planet Fitness, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's wrong with Planet Fitness? Oh Lord! No, listen, I listen. I ain't gonna. No, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was, I was, I was doing the plan of fitness for a minute, and in all reality, I wouldn't be out of plan of fitness if it wasn't for him. It was him. 
and he still got his plan to finish. Oh, oh God. No, no, no. And I realized, like, oh, there's people that really work out in this other gym. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. And I went back to playing the fitness, and I said, oh, no, nah, I'm never, never coming here again. Yeah, it's a difference, man. Yeah, it is. It's like you got to know when it level up. Like, you got to yeah. know when it's time for you to it's take a, another it's step. It's a difference, man. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, with, even with the gym that I go to, it's like when you go in there, man, you get the motivation because everybody's actually working yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? And then you know it's some there's some lookers in there that, you know what I'm saying, motivate you to do what you what you want to do and all of that, man. So like you said, health health is wealth, man. I I like that, man. I like that, mm-hmm. man. If you beginning though, I recommend going to Planet Fitness. Yeah. If I you never just went to yeah, go. if you just start, I know. <laughs> Matter of fact, I did with my brother and we did like it was like no weight workout. Okay. Yeah. Calisthenics. Okay, so let me ask you a question, man. Y'all got any um any mentors, any role models? Who 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 y'all and um who inspires y'all to do some of the things that y'all doing right now? I feel like nobody inspired me. I just do it for my mother, for real. I know that. Then that's your that's your that's your inspiration. Yeah. Uh, my little brother. Trying to give him fat. Trying, <laughs> I'm trying to make him look sweet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want him to be my age, driving us on fat shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the money, all everything he want. That's all. My fallen soldiers. Your fallen soldiers. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. Everybody That's what's up, man. Guy. Yeah. And my nephews. That's what's up. Y'all Gotta doing do it for, for something, them. man. So how how far are you you guys plan on taking this, man? All the way. All what? the way. It ain't no limit. No, I get it. What's your vision, though, Mari? What's your vision for? um, Uh, I'm gonna give you about. What's your vision in the next ten years? Tell them about Aaron too. Next ten years, okay. So I got clothing brand coming out. It's not coming out. It's already out, but it ain't in. It ain't a hundred percent yet where I want it to be. Next ten years, I me personally, I don't want to tap for the next ten years. Nah. Why? I just feel like it's 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 a lot of ways to make money sitting right here doing this. Okay. You know? So yeah. if I can get paid to do this, I'd rather take this and get paid to tap. It's not really I wouldn't say it's a passion for me either. I would just say I like the I like art. I like seeing new things or I like to meeting new people. But really my clothing brand I feel like it's gonna take me where I wanna be as far as Worldwide and okay. different places, different states, and stuff like that. So that's what's up, man. Yeah. What about you? For me, like you said, I don't plan on tagging. Like I probably tag here and there, but I plan on like having like products and all that for okay. like tattooing and all that. Okay. So I already travel for tattooing. Uh, I do tattoo conventions and all that. So that's them products gonna make my business like boom for real. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. What about you? I plan on going everywhere with your with your with your clothing line, right? Yeah, that. Um, I'm just an artist all around. Art, art, okay. So like creative direction, um, everything. Music, okay. clothes, all that. Yeah. I see you got. I can see you got some work done. You got some tat. You tat. Oh yeah, I tat it up. Who did I'm working on my legs right now. <laughs> I'm in the ink oh, you, you, you gonna cover your whole leg? Yeah. yeah, who I did them tats? Did these today. He did. He did all these on my leg. Who did? Mark. Mark did. Ain't guru, man. <laughs> that ain't guru. Ain't guru. <laughs> that shit hurt. Cause look, I, I ain't had tattoos nah, about twenty hurt. years. <laughs> it ain't hurt. That shit hurt. <laughs> you, hey, what 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 y'all use the uh what you call the number? You use the number frame. I use it. Don't all. lie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. You got to stay away from that number crew. Don't away from you that lie. Hey, hey, man. Working, hey. Like hey. Working, hey. My class, y'all come through, y'all need some, I got you. <laughs> you hear me? Stay away from the number crew. Stay away. Why? Hey, why should they stay away? Hey, hey, nah, hey, for it's real, It's harder for the tattoo artists. For, for real? Yeah. You make your skin rubbery. So what's the process with the number cream? Man, you gotta wait an hour for that drink to kick in. There's different little methods, yeah. stuff like that. I got that. some number cream. Well, it's not even cream; it's some spray. Oh. But I can't tell. I'm like, <laughs> oh, awesome. you, you I got, got the same spray as me. It's that high quality you <laughs> get from tattoo convention. Oh, yeah. High quality spray. I'm selling, and it works. Oh my god, hard that too close. You got some, innov- <laughs> you got some innovation. Look, y'all want to do? Y'all want all these tattoos? I'm want to deal with the pain and shit. You know, slap a whole jar numb cream on your legs. <laughs> no, no, the, no the, the legs ain't right. 
Then that hurt. So what's the painful part in your body to get a tattoo? Or it? For real? No, no, it's not. No, I don't know. I don't got all this. He, you got that, exactly. No, this do hurt. This hurt. No, it don't. Bro, I had got this and then went back the next day and got this because I thought it was going to hurt too. But He did that the week after. He yeah, went man, one week. He hurt it. I feel like the worst And I had no was, numbing cream. It was probably my leg. My chest. My chest was nothing. Like, I got the whole what? thing done at once. But I was young though. When you get older, your skin. Yeah. Got like that's why out. I won't be getting no tattoo. Yeah. It depends on the person too. Though, he said his out. most painful was his leg. But my least no painful tattoo. was my leg. Right yeah, here, I got. Yeah. 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 I, <laughs> my man just started for real. So. Oh. Hey, look! I got yeah. I got five kids all together. I got three of my kids on me. The other two they short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just heard somebody tell me they uh they was like, Yeah, my dad got my mother's name on his hand, but they ain't they ain't the guy, they ain't been a guy for a long time. He said he ain't getting it covered up though, cause it hurt. <laughs> 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 nah, the hand I heard the hand hurt. Hey, my yeah, hands bro. ain't hurt. I was my young. hands was, my hands was cool. I feel like my chest was the worst. No, my stomach is bad. Oh, yeah. Stomach that stomach is worst. crazy. So you you ever seen a tattoo artist with no tattoos? Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah. How the hell that is? I ain't gonna lie to y'all either. I got a statement to make. I feel like tattoo artists got the worst tattoos. So. How? I don't know. tried on myself? Yeah. Oh. And I feel like, because you didn't, like, I don't know. I but feel I feel like too. every tattoo artist I see, though, like, they got some tattoos that's real questionable, like. Cause they got them like from their man when they was younger. Oh, they, I got they, some they questionable sell. tattoos they, they, too. Y'all just can't see them right now. Oh my lady. <laughs> hey Mark, I see when you started. Nice. You know what I'm saying? I see hey, you done you done graduated to a to a to a to a skilled tattoo artist, man. I see when you started, dog. <laughs> you still you still got some of your uh your starter on, on your on your Instagram, your starter pose on your Instagram, or you took them off? Nah, my uh my first Instagram got deleted out of nowhere. So actually the page I got was made probably like in the last two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. You ain't you ain't keep no pictures? I ain't got nothing. That don't just delete it. I'm talking on your phone. Oh yeah, I got I got some pictures. I don't I'm uh, I don't even want to show them. <laughs> I actually got my new stuff. Never <laughs> <laughs> nah, forget we started it. Yeah, enough. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere though. Yeah. Because if I ain't never mess up in the beginning, I'd never be doing what I'm doing now. Yeah. I ain't saying. Yeah, I ain't gonna say I don't mess up now, but you probably not gonna see it. <laughs> <laughs> man, I see you. I see your tattoos on Instagram, man. You dope. Man, so I see. Sure. I see all y'all stuff on Instagram, man. Y'all do. Y'all doing. Y'all doing. Y'all doing wonderful, man. For you know, sure. So man. if I had y'all thought process at. at, at, at if I had to throw prize at y'all age, I'd be way further than where I am. Y'all invest? Yeah, I still got money in stocks because you you told me about the stocks. So even Who if did? you Who? Rich Who? Rich Podcast. Oh, why? Oh, why? <laughs> you put me on the oh, stocks, why? man. So I, <laughs> I was you, trying to get into them, but yeah, y'all y'all stop y'all y'all start y'all start putting some money up, man. For the future, even if it's ten dollars a day. So you'd be surprised. How far ten hours a day will get you? Cause mm -hmm. twenty years come like this, dog. Like mm -hmm. once you snap your finger, twenty years be. Me personally, like cash, I don't see that. So like, say I make four thousand on cash app and five thousand in cash, I don't see that five thousand. What you mean? Like put that I away. put it to the side. Okay. So like, I never see my my uh cash money. That's how I say. So when you put it to the side, what do you do with it? You take it to the bank or you just keep? No, I don't trust bank. Okay, you you are you are you are uh, you are you are. You I are have a bank box. account, but you I got are, a business account. But you a shoebox, you a shoebox, uh, uh, shawty. Something like that. I know that's right. Look, <laughs> look. Sometimes I look at it like this, man. You that's know, we, we, in a, we in a digital space, right? So sometimes you gotta keep a little bit of cash in it. You know what I'm saying? Stash somewhere because yeah. If the I remember, hey, look, I remember a couple of months back, Instagram crashed, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody was going crazy, and so in my mind, I'm like. Everything is digital now, right? Mostly everything. When you as far as your bank accounts, your investments, and mm -hmm. all of that. What if one day everything just erased? That's how I think sometimes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, like I got a little bit of cash on the side just in case shit like that happens. So it's nothing wrong with keeping a little bit of cash, you know, stash, stash on the side just just in case. But don't keep yeah. too much. 
trying to flip your money, man. Put it, put it, put it in something that make you some money. You don't, you don't have to be stocks. Mm -hmm. Just find some way to keep flipping the money. Cause you know what I'm saying, money stays there. All you're gonna do is find a way to spend it. I honestly you know play around saying? with the money in my bank. Yeah. But I don't, I don't like touching my cash. Your cash. Like you said. Yeah. You never know when. The social media market might go down. Or yeah, or sometimes you might need some cash to yeah. make a quick flip. You know what I'm saying? So you, so yeah, yeah. Find some investments, man. Try to try yeah. to flip your money and just. Me right now, I'm investing. Yeah. I did the saving thing last year. It was good, but I got myself to a point where I'm like, what I'm gonna do now with money? Mm -hmm. So now, I'm putting my money in the sun. It's gonna make more. So. Would I you do up? invest. I invest into myself. Oh, you that, that's an investment. Yeah. That's that's the number one investment in the world. You have to invest in your business. Cause a lot of my money that I make outside of the um outside of I mean I make cutting hair, I pour it in this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I pour it in this and I'm not getting no nothing back, but I know that in due time it's gonna come. I'm it's gonna come. Cause I use the same tactic that I used when I was in the streets, the same tactic that I used when I started cutting hair. I reinvested all the money that I was making into myself mm -hmm. by being, you know what I'm saying, whether it's education, whether it's products, whether it's being better, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, because everybody got to everybody gotta eat too. So mm -hmm. people don't understand, like, you have to, like, money is made for you to spend it, but spend it the right way with, with investments, you know what I'm saying, your first investment should be you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You are, and you are a business. Once you make yourself a business, you know what I'm saying? Make make that recur, re, re, what they call it, recurring or reincurring. Reincurring. Reincurring, you know what I'm saying? Into, into, pour that into your business, pour that into yourself, and, and just be wise when it comes to it. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's what's up, man. Would you recommend any everybody to get in the merch game? Yeah. Why? Because it's money in it. Um, I would say if you know, if you're a business person, like, then it's like it's easy for you. Yeah. It'd be easy for you because nowadays you don't even really gotta have that much. Um, like you don't really have to do your own designs. And you stuff. don't. Like, you don't have to have no. I mean, you gotta have some type of creativity because you gotta be. You gotta have some that's different from mm -hmm. everybody in order to really, you know, do something. Yeah. But it's just like. I be seeing a lot of brands that look the same. People be wearing it. People be buying it. It's like it's so easy now. As long as you got a logo, you got some type of design, you can just send it out, and they just send you whatever you got back. If you like the way it looks, you just buy maybe a, a bulk of it. You feel what I'm saying? If you like the texture, if you like the the clothes, you buy the bulk of it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's time to plug my uh, you know, my my line of clothes, the Rich Talk Podcast. You know, I might have to holler at my man right here, you know what I'm saying, to get the better uh, textures and stuff, man. So, <laughs> but I got I got my merch coming soon, man. You know, I had to do a little shameless plug, you know. I got my merch coming soon, man. So I got the merch. Like I said, I got a lingerie for the ladies. Mm -hmm. Man, don't be jealous when y'all see the rich talk on y'all ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's real as it gets. You know what I'm saying? Any last words, man, for the people? My lady walk in the house with some rich talk, it's gonna be a problem. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey Mari, look, let me ask you this, right? You go over your lady house in. And look, she got man. some rich talk on. <laughs> with my face on it. I'm gonna tell. Oh, I'm gonna tell. Shreds. Matter of fact, it's over. It's gonna be a shreds. Mm. It's over. It's like, maybe I want this a special. Lingerie with somebody's face on it. Right. <laughs> Insane. Hey, listen. All we're going to say is, man, y'all better watch y'all ladies because if she got Rich Talk podcast on her butt, she ain't yours. <laughs> what he said? <laughs> she been clean, right? <laughs> she ain't yours, man. Don't let her convince you otherwise. Oh, man, y'all crazy. <laughs> y'all keep me alive, man. I swear. <laughs> she going to tell them, hey, Y'all keep me young. Y'all keep me young. It's just my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the kids' head. There you go. I'm his, I'm his brand. I'm his brand ambassador. Hey, yeah, I'm crazy. Man. She would say, "I'm the He's brand my, ambassador." My kid's mama. She the brand ambassador. <laughs>
That's the one though. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, y'all mm-hmm. crazy, man. <laughs> no, y'all go get that uh, rich talk lingerie, ladies. For yeah, sure. get the lingerie, I'm man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My ladies, they go ahead and read it out. Yeah, coming to a Victoria's Secret near you. <laughs> <laughs> read it out, cross. Yeah, right, rich talk in the uh, corner. You know what Victoria's what I'm saying? Secret chat. <laughs> I'm gonna call that shit rated R, rated rich. <laughs> rated, rated rich by Victoria's Secret. They gonna try, and they gonna take your stuff too. If it look good. They gonna, they gonna say you ain't make this. Oh yeah, man, <laughs> call that rated R. Nah, rated yeah. rich. Hey, that's a good. You, you might gotta drop a line. <laughs> tell you I'm telling y'all. Yeah. Tell y'all, man. <laughs> y'all need, y'all need to listen to me. I ain't, I'm old, but I ain't cold. Any last words though? Rich and raw. <laughs> rich and raw. Don't die bullshit. Rich and raw. Rich and raw. Like rich and raw. Oh man. Rich and raw. Long oh, that's crazy. Man. Oh man, I got you over here sweating. Y'all crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words, man? Come on, man. Uh, nah, nah, hold on, hold on. You supposed to drop? You supposed to drop? Uh, Verse, uh, uh, we ain't gonna do that for the uh, last uh, verse, uh, man. You supposed to drop a freestyle. <laughs> you freestyle. supposed to do something, though. Come on, let's hear man. something, man. Give the people something, man. Mm. Don't be shy, man. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, hey, look, you ain't gotta worry about. It. Ain't no, ain't no pressure. It's only about twenty thousand people watching you right now. <laughs> <laughs> He told my own beat. Let's go, man. Hey, you want to beat? Hey, you want to beat? What's up? How y'all do when y'all do when y'all do when I ain't around? Come on, how y'all do it? Come on. Yeah, he, right. he got to do it. Y'all, y'all, y'all want something for real? Yeah, for real. All right, I got all right. Tell him. What would I be if it wasn't for trials and tribulations? A couple of details, but I'm still gonna reach my destination. They ain't gonna be to this support but say congratulations. But that's just life, I guess I had too many expectations. I ain't no way until I'm dead to show me recognition. I think about V neck every time I catch my head slipping. This full VN only my brother who I'm really missing. But I'm a soldier, I'ma stand up through the rain, new edition. That's what's up. Yeah. Man, come on, man. Get that man a round of applause, man. Hey, tell him where to find you at, bro. Follow you on Instagram at Rainy Season Brain. Rainy Season Brain. Any last words, my brother? Man, nice shot, man. That was dope. Stay consistent. Whatever you're doing, put your all into it. That's what's up. Don't what let nobody you? determine what you gonna be, what you gonna do. Man, that's what's up, man. That's dope, man. Hey, you got come on. I know you can rap too, man. Oh, nah. <laughs> come on, man. You got to give me I a bar, man. I know y'all, y'all be in the I house. I do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, nah. go. Any last words, bro? Uh. Everybody stay blessed, stay consistent, uh, stay focused. That's right. Hey, hey Mark, give me a 16, dog. Come on. You want, you want some boss? Yeah, man. I'm dead serious. Let me get on some. Give some boss. Man. Nah, I was rapping a little earlier and all that. You ready? Yeah. Rich Talk Podcast. Where the hoes? <laughs> <laughs> Rich Talk Podcast, I'm with the bros. <laughs> Rich Talk Podcast, you already know. <laughs> Top in for it's too late, and it get real slow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nigga, that's some balls, nigga. Ah. That was that's all the dogs, too. <laughs> hey, you know Rock Nation called me. Oh, you yeah. ain't know? Rock Nation called you? Yeah. Chicken yeah. called you? Uh, nigga, man, look, can I be your agent, bro? No one will mess with Diddy and them, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Hey, look, y'all, hey, look, tell them where to find you at, man. Find me at the dot and guru on Instagram, man. Tap in. Tap in, man. It's been a great conversation with these young boys. Man. Keep sure. telling they keep me young, man. I got one more thing to say. What you got to say? What you got to say? We appreciate Rich, man, for having us here and, and, and wanting to be a positive role model for the young people like us, because I can say now, in this day and age, we ain't got a lot of older people that's really trying to guide us, because I would say mainly because they try to find their way too, but it ain't really too much help out here. You get what I'm saying? So uh, I applaud Rich, for sure, and I applaud what he's doing. This job going to go to the top, for sure. 
Well, I'd like to say I appreciate y'all for coming. I appreciate your words of wisdom. Appreciate your compliments, man. Y'all, y'all keep me young, man, because I I look at myself from the aspect where when I was y'all age, I didn't have the influence that I'm 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 learning to give you guys. So just like y'all appreciate me, I appreciate y'all because y'all keep me young. Because every time I want to bounce some ideas, man, I call people like y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all got that fresh mind and y'all always give me the right advice with no sugar coat, with no nothing. So I appreciate y'all keep up the good work, man. Y'all keep striving. Appreciate keep being it. consistent, man. And the sky's the limit. I tell y'all, just do the do the right thing by you and everybody else, man. The sky's the limit, man. So y'all keep y'all keep pushing, man. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Man, thank you. Thank y'all for pause. Thank y'all for coming. You know what I'm saying? 